G'day guys, it is Rely here. I'm just here to give you all a quick tip um, in regards to how to loop an animation forever in Blender. Okay, so here I have a little low poly, well not really low poly, I just have a really weird helicopter I made just for the purpose of this video. Don't judge, okay? Um, Alright, so what we're going to actually be doing is looping the animation of these blades. So, okay, let's do this one first. So to loop an animation, first of all you want to get the main animation that you actually want to loop. So in my case, I'm going to press I and insert a uh, keyframe for the rotation. And then I'm going to move here to maybe frame 20, 24. And I'm going to set the Y rotation plus another 720 degrees or so. So now you'll notice, oh no. Okay. Uh, Let's just delete single keyframe and go back to what we had. I think it's RZ. Oh, wow, it is RZ. Okay. So, we're, what we're going to do now is actually add 720 to the Z axis. There we go. Now, you'll notice that it actually does animate. Okay, in fact, we could probably even set this another 720 and then keyframe it because it's not going fast enough maybe even a bit more honestly I'm not sure how fast helicopters go maybe let's even add another one like can you just times this by two yeah you can okay that's interesting all right guys let's see Uh, it, this honestly looks to be going slower. Times by two. Um, okay. Alright, that actually looks okay. So now what we're going to do is actually put our cursor up here. And left click and drag. So that we can bring open another tab. And we're actually going to change it from 3D viewport to graph editor. Which is third down under the animation section. Okay, so now we have this. So let's select the object we want to animate. In this case, it is the helicopter blades. And you will see that this is our curve. If we press normalize, which basically puts everything from negative one to one, so we can see it. Um, so yeah, this is our curve right now. It is quite steep, as you saw before. But what we're going to do to repeat it is actually press this little arrow down up here, and we're going to select Z. Euler ro rotation because that's what we are changing the Z rotation so RZ <laughs> alright so what we're going to do is press AA to deselect everything and then A to select everything so now we're going to press N which will bring open this little section and tab here and we're going to press modifiers add modifier and cycles okay so you will notice that we now have a looping animation Okay, so that is how you can basically loop an animation. Now, if you were to have a ball bouncing and you just animated the first half of it bouncing, for example, it's all fine because after you can do repeat mirrored. And as you can see, it will repeat the mirrored and then it will go back to normal and it will continue to do that. Or, yeah, you can repeat mirrored before it as well. Okay, so I hope that that has helped you all out. Um... If it has, then be sure to drop a like and even a subscriber because I will be uploading daily tips if I can. So yeah, have a good day and I'll see you next time.